You ever been to Gwerly Station? No, I haven't. Where is Gwerly? Wales? Uh, no, that's Gwilly. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, oh, well, anyway. Oh, oh. hello. Oh. Welcome to Diesel Engines and Their Heritage, episode two. Yes, and before we get going, we'd like to issue an apology. Yes. <laughs> See, after the last programme, we received several, some, well, actually, just the one complaint that we're not taking it seriously. No, so this episode we decided to take it very seriously. By covering slightly bigger engines like this. Yes. Wait, 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 it's coming. Wait. There, there. Like that. Yeah, that. That one there. Yes. Welcome to episode two. Yes, two. 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 is because, well, last time we kicked off with a little-known narrow-gauge engine, one that not many people were, aware of, were really aware of. I mean, Chris used the Black Fives, and they're quite well-known, and we chose, well, Nippy. Yes, uh, so this time we've gone for an engine on a, on a bigger track. Yeah, and to show you that we are taking this one a lot more seriously, we're going to change to a different angle. See? Yeah, different angles. Mm. Yeah. So, now to some history. Well, we said we were going to be serious, and we are. See, this yes. runs, as we said, on much bigger lines. Yes, it does. Not this big. This big. Yes, it was built in 1960. Hang on. Four, 1964. Yes, it's the combination of two legendary designs. Yes, firstly, the wheel. And secondly, the box. Yes, both designed by cavemen, the names of which we cannot name for legal reasons. Uh, it's green. Yes, and, and yellow. And there's some red in there as well. Don't forget the black. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, it's positive it's rainbow. There's okay. even a bit of blue in there. Yes. Compared to yeah. Nibby, which is one yeah. Yes, yes. It's got two lamps on the front, which is very useful for going along. Nippy didn't have two. I think Nippy might have had one. I'm not sure it had any. I think it might have had one. We'll have to go and look at that. But this has definitely got two lots of light. Yes. Uh, Very useful in the dark. There's numbers on the front. Yes. Uh, for a reason. I don't know why. And it doesn't have a starting crank that takes you hours and hours to get it started, Alan. Yes. Uh, hmm. Why are we doing this again? I, 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 I really don't know. Um, Vaguely interesting. I'm, I'm yeah. Sure. What can we say? I think we have exhausted this engine. Yet another major letdown on the diesel front. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Should, should we just go? I, I, I think it's probably best if we leave before we yeah. do too much damage to the diesel. Sorry again, guys. Sorry. 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 